Hey guys, Matteo here. Welcome back to a new video. This is gonna be a quick one, but I wanna briefly talk about the Blackmagic Pocket 6K form factor. A lot of talk out there, but let's just jump into it. So a few days ago, I posted on my community tab that Blackmagic is not releasing a camera since two years. And a lot of people comment about, oh, I wish there was a cube. I wish they could come up with a cube. And I know all these people very likely are gimbal operators. So just a heads up. I don't own a gimbal. I never used one in my entire 11 years career as a filmmaker. And that's just me though. I understand people using and that's great, great technology. And I understand also why they want a cube camera because of course they want to put it on their gimbal. But again, as a non gimbal operator, I think a cube form factor is a very bad idea. There are a few reasons for it, but first we need to go back a little to the original pocket. I think the main point was that you could take it out of your bag you have a beautiful monitor and you can start filming right away. You put a battery in there. Yeah, it didn't last long, 15, 20 minutes, but you were ready to go. You didn't have to rig up anything or do nothing. That was just a camera that I think Blackmagic released just to complement their cinema line, you know? They're like, oh, if you are on a run or you need to jump on a bus and capture some quick shot, you can do it with this camera. 12-bit Cinema DNG RAW, 1080, 13 stop dynamic range, incredible color science. That was quite amazing for 2012, 2013. So now that we have the DNA and the region of the pocket clear, we can think about this cube uh, obsession that people have. The problem with the cube is that you're gonna miss the main feature, the core of the black magic, their true DNA, which is a monitor. I can take it out of my bag and I can start rolling without having to rig it up. I just put a battery in there, less in the front, and I'm good to go. You can't do that with a cube. And it's fine if you're thinking about, yeah, but I'm gonna rig it up all the time because it's my main camera and all this kind of stuff. What I wanna say is, I don't think Blackmagic should not make a cube. I think Blackmagic should make a cube camera because it's gonna bring them so much money I just think it should be a totally different camera. It should be a Blackmagic Gimbal, Blackmagic Micro, Blackmagic whatever. But I don't think they should touch the pocket. This, it was probably born as like a extension of your Ursa or your Alexa, whatever, to capture those shots where you cannot bring your big cinema camera with you. Of course, they also thought about it for beginners filmmakers because it's a very good way to enter the cinematography world because it's all manual. But yeah, if I have to pick a camera for a movie, for a commercial, for something, it's gonna be the R70 Pro 12K. But this will always be in my backpack. But now what I would like to see from Blackmagic for the new pocket camera. Well, for a factor, in my opinion, can stay the same, maybe a little bit more compact, what I would really like to see though is a true S35 sensor, almost like the Ursa Mini Pro 12K, because the problem with the 6K is crop is 1.56, which is a bit too much. I do not care about full frame, but this is for another video. I love S35, as long as it's a true S35, so 1.3, like the Ursa, like the Ari, that'd be great. Also, I would love to have maybe an SDI port. Another thing I would really, really love is to see an EF lock mount. This is pretty stable now, but sometimes it wiggle a little. So having a lock mount where you put the lens in and you turn it, kind of like a PL mechanism, that would be absolutely fantastic. Another thing I would like to see, of course, other than the true S35 sensor, I would love to see the Blackmagic e now sensor that it's on the Ursa 12K inside the pocket. Of course, it can't be the same. Maybe it's gonna be limited to 8K, but having an in-house Blackmagic sensor that shoots pretty much with zero rolling shutter because on the 12K, the rolling shutter is virtually zero. That would be fantastic. 14 stops of dynamic range, that'd be great. 120p, dual native ISO, that would be a dream. And to be honest, guys, nothing else because this camera, when you think about it, what it does for $2,000, 6K, 50p, beautiful monitor, five inches, nobody on the market can get even close to what this camera can do. And Blackmagic started giving us ProRes 12B RAW back in 2012, like 10 years ago. The fantastic ecosystem that they build with DaVinci is also amazing. But yeah, that would be pretty much my dream list for Blackmagic. I hope someone at Blackmagic saw this video and took note because uh, that would be pretty fantastic. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know 
what is your dream next pocket please don't say cube we get it you want a gimbal camera hopefully black magic is going to give it to you but you don't want to put this thing in a cube trust me you are going to miss this monitor so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you the next one